Hey guys, welcome back to Modeler Mentor. Today we're going to be doing the cockpit of the Bandai Slave 1. So I decided to do the cockpit separate from the main piece, because once I put that cockpit in, all the other pieces around it will get, lock it in. So we want to make sure, I want to make sure that I have easy access to all the parts of the cockpit. So right now we're going to prime it with a Vallejo Gray Primer. And we're going to be using a Windsor & Newton Series 7 Kalinsky Sable Brush to do our brush painting. Now the Windsor and Newton brushes are probably the best watercolor brushes that you can buy. There are Kalinsky Sable brushes available in, by most of the paint suppliers like Vallejo and Reaper and uh, Games Workshop and stuff like that, but I believe that Windsor and Newton is probably the best paintbrush available and it's only a couple of dollars more than the what we'll call quote-unquote knockoff brushes. So right now we're just going to apply a nice smooth coat of primer. I'm not trying to get completely full coverage, though I am looking for even coverage. Um, a primer is really just a sticky coat. It's just a tack coat to make sure that the paint actually sticks to the plastic. Um, there are a couple of different ways that you can do primer. This is the simplest version, where you're just putting down a gray coat, or if you've got black primer, a black coat, or you know whatever your base primer color is going to be. You can also use your primer for pre-shading, which we're not going to do for this tutorial, but it's a really cool technique that we're going to go into later on. So be on the lookout for that particular tutorial. We'll probably do that on tanks and planes. Pre-shading is pretty cool, and it's very, very important for figures. I love doing that for figures. But anyway, so enjoy. We're just going to put this primer coat on, and then we'll move on to the next color. So now we've got our base primer coat on, and we're going to start working on the actual base color layer. And based on the references I've pulled up, our base color layer is going to be a gray. So we're using Reaper Master Series Cloudy Gray. So you're looking for something that's a medium to just a little bit darker than medium gray in whatever brand of paints that you would use. And we're going to go for as even of a consistency of coat as we can. So this one we're looking for full coverage and even consistency.
All right, so we've got our nice even gray base color on, and now it's time to start doing the accent colors. So we're going to accent all of the panels and do all the details in black. So this is just a straight up black. Um, still using the Kalinsky Sable Brush. I think I might have switched to a finer tip, but it's still not a super fine tip. Um, the, uh, the point on those brushes is so fine, you can actually do a lot of work with some of the bigger brushes. It's funny, while I'm doing this, you're going to see me move around a lot, and that's because I'm not used to painting in front of my body on something so small. So I'm still working on trying to figure out how to get the actual piece like close to my face so that I can really squint at it and paint and then not get my head in the way and block the camera. So it's kind of funny, but the interesting things that you learn <laughs> to deal with while you're doing tutorial videos. But anyway, enjoy. We're just going to go through all these detail pieces and get just a nice coat on there.
Okay, so now it's time for a nice wash. So we're going to switch brushes, and now I'm going to pull out a cheap throwaway brush, something with a little bit bigger um, of a tip to it, and we're going to use the Quick Shade series Dark um, from Army Painter. And Army Painter makes a really good wash, and I've tried making my own washes, and it just never quite turns out right. So if anybody has any clues as to how to make the perfect wash, please put that into the comment section, because I think all of us would love to learn how to make a wash that really, really works. But right now, I'm just going to do a nice even wash all over everything. And I'm actually going to leave that wash on the large surfaces, and I normally wouldn't do that. I would do this more for a panel line or, you know, panel accent type thing. But I'm looking to darken that gray a little bit, and I also want to have some extra texture be shown. So I'm going to go through and basically paint over the entire model with this wash color. Alright, it's time for all the detailed stuff. So I am using just a straight up pure red color with my fine tipped Kalinsky Sable brush with a, I believe is just a zero. I don't even think it's a double zero. And I'm just going to dot all of our little buttons and knobs and stuff with the red and get those accents in. We've got all our buttons done, and now it's time to do the seat. And I apologize for it being a little blurry there. Um, still working on figuring out all of the details for blurriness. But anyway, we're going to use a oiled leather from the Reaper series. And I believe in the cutaway book that has the Slave 1, it shows a tan-colored seat. And I really like that for contrast. So that picture is on Patreon. At the $5 subscription level, you get to access all of my reference material for every single model that I make. So I've got a folder that has a ton of different pictures of the studio scale version of the Slave 1 as well as anything that I found interesting about Slave 1. Uh, you can find it there and that's a great resource that you don't have to do all the hours of research to find the best pictures. So I've decided again to do the oiled leather 
And I think that's just going to be a nice accent color that'll show through the windshield when this is all done. There we go, all done. Nice little paint job. That's gonna look really good once we get that put back into the ship. So our next steps are literally just to place it back into the ship, get all of the rest of the pieces that surround it locked in place, and then we are ready to start working on the actual paint job for the whole thing. Very, very exciting. So thank you guys very much for joining me for chapter three, and look for chapter four coming up real soon. If you like these videos, please subscribe below or follow me on Facebook. And also, if you want to get giveaways and other free stuff, tutorials and more videos, please follow me and subscribe on Patreon. Thanks. Bye.